Hi, I'm Bill Sagrass, and in this tutorial, this Photography Photoshop Portrait Pro tutorial, we are going to look at Portrait Pro's presets. And uh, so when you open uh, the, the picture up, first thing you have to do, identify if it's male or female, and of course it's a child. Set your control points, get them all, because the control points are going to um, activate the logic. They're going to inform all of the, the computer logic as to do what to where. All right, so we have some global presets, and then we have presets for all of the different aspects of it, uh, all the different pieces. There are presets that you can you can use. So we're gonna start in, we'll just look at global and throw this on standard, and you will see it has done some sculpting. You can see what the preset has done uh, by going back into controls and opening up the various different um, um, feature panels, feature option lists, all the different things that we'll do. You can open those up and see what it has done. So presets. So uh, standard is usually uh, a pretty usable, a pretty usable preset. Um, when I, a lot of my clients will either be the model or the model's parents or grandparents, and they they do not want a picture that does not look like the subject. I have, I have another video called um, "No One Looks Like That." And it, it, I took a, a picture of a student uh, from a couple years ago, and of course with permission, pushed that picture all the way to a point where you just didn't look like the student anymore. It was unrecognizable. And, and that is a, a distinct possibility with software as powerful as this. You, you, if, you're, you know, if you want, you can change someone absolutely into something that is unrecognizable, hair color, skin color, everything. So standard is one of those that is not, not very far off the mark. Um, it does do a little bit of sculpting. It does do some skinning and a little bit of everything. So um, the standard is not a bad place to start. Throw a little bit more sculpting on with Glamorous and a little bit more even and some makeup with Glamorous too. Take all of that off, reset to original, jump down, let's look at skin, eyes, and lips. It's not doing any sculpting. It is only doing the skin and the eyes. Oh, I guess it is sculpting the eyes a little bit. I can do medium sculpt. It's going to sculpt a little more. Maximum lighting. Lighting is one of the features in Portrait Pro that will drastically change the way the skin looks and even the uh, contours of the face. So um, with it set up to a maximum level, we get a very dramatically changed photo. No lighting, uh, it has done a little sculpting and other things, and then no sculpting. Um, it has res reverted the picture back, but it has done um, lighting and other things. So you see there's no sculpting on that. So that is the, the uh, global presets. There are other presets. I'm going to leave that one open because we're going to keep coming back. There are other presets as well. These are all sculpting presets. So first I am going to turn that one off. No anything. Face sculpting. Original face shape. Standard sculpt. Medium sculpt. Plump the lips. Slim the nose. Darken or reduce the chin. Shorten the nose, lengthen the neck, all these sculpting options, eyes only. We can go back to the original and see the effect of the sculpting presets. Again, be careful with sculpting that you don't end up creating some Frankenstein that is not what you were trying to do. Skin smoothing is uh, essentially only doing the skin. So turning everything off, reset to original. Skin smoothing, I can take care of skin quickly. I did, uh, in, in Photoshop before bringing it over, take care of some of the um, indicators of adolescence uh, with the content aware brush. I did not do anything else with it. In, I, I cropped it also into an eight by 10 size. Um, lighting and skin. Also set the control points before I turn the camera on. Remove lighting. This is the lighting feature only. High spotlight. Camera right light lit from below. You can move the lighting around and get very different looks to the picture. 
maximum lighting, remove lighting, standard lighting. If you're unsure what to do, maybe start with standard lighting and then get into the controls and work with them until you're happy. Back to presets, global, off, makeup. The makeup features are um, I'm not really sure when to when to use them. Um, the thing I have done with makeup is sometimes I will tone up the lips a little bit um, if somehow the lighting has washed them out, and uh, I will very very occasionally I will do something with the uh, eyebrow pencil to make the, I, again if the lighting has somehow uh, made the, made those features less apparent I'll, I'll enhance those. But to, to change someone who is the client, to change their makeup uh, drastically, it, it, it creates them into something that they're not. And, you know, if this is not the person who is represented in the picture, and this is the person that you produce using the tool, I'm not sure where that is called for. I'm sure there's a place for that, but I'm not sure where it is. Remove makeup. Natural makeup, natural too. Subtle, subtle too. You can see there are a lot of things that you can do. Um, I would be careful with that. And on into eyes. Let's go back to global. Make sure we are on the original picture. Eyes. Original eyes. Brighten the eyes. Brighten and sharpen. Whiten eyes. Blue eyes. You can do a lot with the eyes. Brighten and sharpen. Um, is a, a way you, you can jump in and get started. Go back to controls and you will see that it has added that brighten and sharpen to the eyes. It might, may start there and then add other effects as you see fit. Presets, global, original, let's see. Uh, mouth and nose, you can sharpen the teeth. If they were showing, sharpen the mouth. Whiten the teeth if they were showing. Original mouth and nose. Saturate the lips. Not a bad idea sometimes. Pinking the lips. Again, depends on uh, what, what you're trying to go for. But you can bring those out if you have somehow in the photograph not captured it in an accurate way. Hair. The, uh, the hair tool is ex expecting there to be a mask for the hair and, and the way you set that is in hair nose and mouth no is in hair edit the mask so this purple is what it thinks the hair is and you can adjust that back with the the tool um, this is this is not a trivial process and I'm going to um, defer using it in this video. Return, to clip out the hair that is um, not hair. It would take a few minutes longer than I want to put in on this video. Back to original global. Finally, picture. Original picture, you can add contrast, you can add color and contrast, you can add vibrance, you can lighten the picture, you can darken the picture, and all of these things that are not a surprise to anyone who has used photo editing software. Um, I'm a big fan of this tool's vignette picture feature, and I will very frequently use it global set to original I'm gonna throw the standard on it um, I'm gonna in controls I'm gonna I'm gonna add a little bit of a vignette to it and and uh, call it a day put that on and that will be the final so I, I threw the standard preset on and then I went back to controls and um, after I turn the camera off I'll add a vignette make a final so that is it for this tutorial. I, hopefully this was enjoyable. Hopefully this gives you a, a quick look at all the possibilities in the presets. And hopefully this will let you get 
things moving with your own use of the Portrait Pro plugin for Photoshop. I am Bill Sagrass. This is uh, one of my tutorial videos. I do photography and photo editing tutorials. I do uh, occasionally other types of photography related tutorials. I also do some science videos for my science class. I also have a bunch of life lesson inspirational motivational videos that are um, vlog style. And then I've recently been doing some videos with uh, folks like this model who are in my photography club who wanted to make videos. So I, I call them in others words. There is a whole playlist uh, and this is Grace from the Grack and Jack Wild and Whack Adventures show that comes out about weekly. And this is Grace who um, agreed to let me do this, uh, of course, with consent and permission and all that stuff. That is it for this episode. If you are trying to um, work with the Portrait Pro plugin, have a look at the presets, throw something up till you like it, and then jump back into the controls and customize it into exactly what you want. There is so much power in the plugin. You'll be very, 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 very pleased with what it can do. Thank you for watching. I don't know if I said it or not, but click the like button, subscribe to the channel, sign up for notifications, leave me a comment, question, and a suggestion. This video is by request. Someone asked for a presets tutorial. Here it is. So I do read those comments. I do take them seriously. Leave me a comment, question, or a suggestion. I will do something with that. That is all. See you in the next one.